Hey, I'm Elena, and you should be warned that this video will contain spoilers regarding the Star Wars movies. So, if you haven't seen them, go marathon all six of them. It will be the best decision in your life. Okay, no. Second best decision. The best would be to marathon all three Lord of the Rings extended edition movies. Anyway, I'm here to talk to you about Heir to the Empire by Timothy Zahn. This is the first book in the Thrawn trilogy. We all remember what happens at the end of The Return of the Jedi. The Emperor dies, Darth Vader dies, the Battle of Ender is won, and uh, uh, the second Death Star is destroyed. I always figured that after that the Empire would uh, crumble by itself, but this is said five years after the Battle of Ender and turns out that the Empire does put up a fight. In fact, after five years, the Imperial fleet is still fighting against the former Rebel Alliance, now New Republic. It has found a new leader, uh, the last Grand Admiral, Grand Admiral Thrawn, who is brilliant, calculating, as well as an alien. He's got blue skin and red glowing eyes. In his hands, he holds the pieces to a puzzle that, if it should come together, would mean the destruction of the fragile New Republic. A New Republic that Luke Han and Leia are still fighting for, not with blasters and lightsabers, but uh, with politics. But once Thrawn sets his master plan in action, Luke Han, Leia and Chewbacca will have to leave the comforts of Coruscant behind to try and survive the traps that the Grand Admiral has laid out for them. That's all I'm gonna tell you because I don't want to give too much away, but feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. Hair to the Empire was the perfect Star Wars novel. There's three main reasons for me to say that. Pacing, perfectly written characters, and smart plot. Zahn has this ability to capture the essence of these characters that fans have come to love so much throughout the years and bring them to life. In this first novel of the trilogy, I especially enjoyed the bits with Luke. At a certain point in the story, Luke comes to face a character that has suffered a lot because of his actions. The interactions between the two characters are extremely interesting. They give you not only insight into Luke himself, but also on uh, the Jedi philosophy, which is probably the aspect that I enjoyed the most. If you've seen the Star Wars movies, you know that they have this very characteristic pacing. You get to see a bit of what the good guys are up to, what the bad guys are up to, and you're ping-ponging between uh, the two factions. That same pacing is uh, in the Thrawn trilogy, and it is also what keeps you on the edge of your seat as you're reading. Because you've got this really brilliant Grand Admiral Thrawn, making up these intricate plans to destroy the New Republic and to make trouble for your beloved heroes. And as you're reading about these heroes who are cluelessly walking into a trap or a tricky situation, you never know if they're gonna make it, even though they are the heroes and you're assuming they're gonna make it. So you're flipping through the pages at a crazy pace because you have to know they're gonna make it. On to the third reason I love this book, the smart plot. Hair to the Empire is definitely an action-packed novel. Action is the protagonist here, but the action is not mindless, which means that power of fire and muscles are not the key to winning. Powers of observation and fast thinking are. I promised myself that I would point out a few negative aspects of the book as well, so here it comes. First of all, if you don't like the Star Wars movies, there's no way this is going to appeal to you. Secondly, I would say that um, this is purely entertainment. If you're looking for the meaning of life or thought-provoking questions about the human condition, keep looking. Also, the prose is not very poetic. There's not much imagery. It's straightforward, to the point. And it's not unpleasant, but just not particularly awe-inspiring. There you have it, my review for Hair to the Empire by Timothy Zahn, a must-read for Star Wars fans. Have you read this? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, and I'm gonna end this in a very cliche way by saying, may the force be with you.